My name's Matt, welcome back to the shop, and a lot of people have been asking about uh, 3D printing stuff, literally I've got fucking loads of emails and so on. So, um, this is the CR10S, it is a noisy bugger, as you can hear, from the traffic. And what I'm going to do in this series of videos is um, just show you simple stuff you have to do in a sense to basically set your printing out because you can get good prints and then you get fucking horrible prints and it's pretty much 99.9% .9 of it is the setup of the machine itself um, so yeah you know they build these in a hurry and so on and so on um, so I've set this up and uh, started printing stuff and obviously we had some problems and I'll show you what them problems are <coughs> so so some of these problems I have is that I printed these which are exhaust valves for some demonstrations I'm doing and if you look you, can, you probably ought to make out I'll put some stills up but you can see there's a slight deviation where it wobbles backwards and forwards and there's a slight deviation in this man nah, not so bad the problem is is when it lays lays down its initial layer and like I said I'll put some photos if these don't come out that well and um, there's like a lip an entire edge missing um, there and this is over a very small footprint basically the bed itself and the entire machine isn't um, set up properly so everything isn't square and so on and so on and I'll show you some basically some measurements and stuff like this right then so if we look at the um, actual gantry here we've got the main upright here and then we've got our um, set square here and you can see that this is sat on the actual bed and you can see that slither of light that wedge of light running up and down there that's how much this is out of square so in other words, the whole thing is lent back. It's like, um, yeah, the whole thing is lent out like this, like that. Now, the problem is here is, is it the actual frame or is it the bed that's lent out that way? So that's what we're going to do is we're going to go through how to basically, what you want to do and how you sort it all out. Right then, so um, I've taken the hot plate off and I've just squared up this. Uh, so this is the actual base um, with all the, washers missing so one side's got washers on one side hasn't and they have the wheels underneath so they need sorting so these ones need washers put underneath this is just up to distribute the load um, the clamping load on this actual entire plate any road um, I've got a picture up now it's easy just to take the picture and show you can still see that even though it's not as bad because obviously these that heating plate was um, sprung so it depends how you set that up but even now with this picture you can see there's a big gap in there uh, it's a smaller gap, let's put it that way, it's a smaller wedge of light. Anyway, when we go around, and I'll have to take some pictures of this, when we go around with the square, I can see that basically um, we're square on the edge and this is moving out away. And when we come to this corner, do the same kind of thing. That one actually isn't too bad, that's kind of square, is that? So there's a bit of a, uh, a wonky yeehaw going on um, when I try and oops i'll try and do this one uh that's kind of good this one that's kind of good as well it's got a slight e how one way so basically what you do is that you undo the screws so on these corners here these are screws uh, in there which basically tell you where this sits so now we've made some measurements and all this, the first thing I want to do is basically take the gantry off, basically undo everything. So, in a sense, um, take it back to the way it was installed. Now if you've got one of these for the first time, this is exactly what you want to do. Um, so I need to take these side brackets off and undo these and then I can basically take the gantry section off. So we're basically, in a sense, treating it as um, two separate entities, which is the way they pack it. Um, so if you are, if you've just got one of these and you want to do this before you even start, which I recommend you do, um, I just wanted to plug and play and just see how it went. So on our base, you can see here, uh, we're not really putting any load on it or weighting it down, so it doesn't matter if it sits like this. We have the same kind of these end caps and then these... Um, bolts that go into the extrusion so what we need to do is now we've got it upside down i can measure i'll use the square see that's pretty shit hot is that 
just check how square this is now that's is that pretty square you see that's not that one's not square at all there's about a half a millimetre gap let's try it from that side yeah it's tucking into the bottom it's hitting at the top before it's hitting at the bottom so we've got a bit of yeehaw in there and then if we go this way so this side is nice and deadly square this side is a bit out so what we need to do is undo these we don't need to take them all the way out Undo these, turn that around, oh, so just make it so I can get to it. The top one has got a slotted. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to undo these and then basically re square it. Now, when you undo these, so I have to be quite honest, maybe that's the problem, they're not even tight. Maybe that is the problem. Motherfuckers. Yeah, they, these ones are, luckily enough. But we just need to undo them, just so you take the clamping load off, and there we go. And I can hear some horrible fucking swarf in that hole. Now you can hear it. Oh, crusty. Right, so that's basically allowed that to move I can now bend I don't know if you can see that I can now bend move this whole thing so then what I need to do is set my square up and what you want to do is you want to bend it so it's the worst and then kind of so what I'm doing is I'm pushing in this way which widens the gap and I'm using the base of the um, set square to push it until it touches so it's pushing, so it goes out of square, and then push at the bottom there, and then I can see right up here at this end, that there is square. And as I tighten them, I'm just making sure I can see if it's deviating, which it has done, you bastard. It's a bit of a pain in the ass of these extrusions because they've got gaps in the middle, so you've got to try and find the edge. Motherfucker. Try that again. Right, that's square. No. Try the other one. Well, that will better. As soon as I tighten it, it opens it up. Alright, we're going to have to undo these and see if all that swarf and shit's in the way. I've actually just taken these out and they've all got bloody spring washers, which is not going to help us because these aren't flat and obviously when you deform them, it's going to start pushing everything out of the bloody way. Get out of it, you bastards. Fucking spring washers. Maybe this might make it easier now taking them fuckers out. What's the bloody Allen key gone? For fuck's sake, you turn your back for five seconds. There it is. Fucking right. You can see it, I can't. <laughs> Alright, so I blew the holes out with some compressed air. You see that crunchiness has gone. I'll tighten it or untighten it, that crunchiness is gone. Good. Right, so let's try that again. Make sure they're loose so the whole thing can move. That's square. Slowly tighten that up. That's square. Now you see as soon as I tighten it, it fucking pulls it. That'll be because these counter balls are too close. Mother 
fucker. Right then, so this is square, thank god for fucking that. That is lovely and square. Beautiful. These are pretty much tight, what we're going to do is we're going to knit them up like so and then just check that again. Yeah, that's lovely and square. Yeah, gorgeous. Right, let's see if we can get this one to do it. Now that that one's secure. Has that pulled this in? Oh, there we go. It's fucking pulled it in for us. So we tighten these. Oh, there we go. Fucking beautiful. Tighten that down. Tighten that down. Pulled it out. Nope, that's bang on. Looking beautiful. Right, so now that's square. We can tighten these things, but these aren't going to really do anything. These are just a basically a bit like strain relief almost. Just to add up. Oh, that's cracked. That's fucking nice. I did not tighten that at all. So, um, I've replaced the washers on here. I've made sure they're all pretty much the same tightness that's also important the tightness of these uh, fittings and the distribution of the load because of washers or not will cause this plate to bend and warp if we get ourselves a uh, straight edge and then basically stick it across it like so there is a slight high spot in the middle and the other bits the other corners bend away same thing here about the same amount so basically these bolts have kind of pulled the plate out of so these are lower um, than this center section to be quite honest because the heat pad uh, and you know your um, aluminium surface plate and then the glass on top uh, is sprung because of the springs and there's adjustment there it really doesn't matter if this is bent warped or whatever unless well nah, if it was bent like one corner was really down but looking at this you know we're talking i don't know 50 microns maybe under that straight edge no no, no maybe 100 microns it's absolutely fucking nothing and like i said because the plate on top of it is sprung um yeah, it's all to do then with the stiffness of uh, and the straightness of the flatness sorry of your aluminium plate and stuff like that any road so now we've got this bit done up to this point and then what we need to do is we need to square up the gantry um, so this has gone on for long enough for one video join me in the next one where we're going to basically it's, it's basically the same thing but I'll just show you it regardless hope that makes sense see you in a bit